Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I covered this subject um, maybe on two other occasions, and that is related to the um, uh, immigration um, of Westerners into Russia. According to the Russians, they built a special city for Western immigrants or settlers that would like to uh, settle in Russia uh, with uh, you know, having, uh, the way they call it, traditional values. That means they do not uh, agree with the garbage these guys are trying to um, promote here. Therefore, uh, you know, some of them say, you know what, we're going to go somewhere where we have our civilization, our values, um, and uh, the hell with you. So the problem is uh, those you, they have nuclear weapons. That's a big problem because who's going to get in charge of those nuclear weapons uh, are very, very frustrated individuals. And those very frustrated individuals will look for the ones that they identified as being the cause of their frustration. Therefore, I would not be surprised if certain countries or the whole continent of Europe will be just um, put on notice by the guys that would uh, get the power in uh, United States of America. Uh, you can also just look at uh, uh, history making of certain generals and you're going to find out, hey, that general, oh, this general, oh, this general, oh, okay, so the US Army now is full of people that might be very frustrated, have some grievances. So, I don't know, we'll see. Good, good luck to you. By that time, I'm dead. So um, you figure things out. I fight as much as I can to, uh, you know, raise awareness to that thing. But, you know, we have to uh, work within uh, the system. Therefore, you can't really say the way it is. Because if I try to say that, not too many people would be able to hear what I say. So let's see what's going on here. We have uh, Sputnik. Americans move to Russia to preserve traditional values. This is from today, July 28th, 2023. The aggressive promotion of so-called quote-unquote diversity and uh, quote-unquote inclusivity uh, and quote in the United States nowadays has apparently led to some Americans to move to countries such as Russia, where traditional values are respected and protected by the government and society. An unspecified number of Americans, all of them, and I'm quoting, accomplished people of traditional values, end quote, have ended up moving from the United States to Russia and settling near the city of Ser Serpukhov in the Moscow region, said Evgeny Primakov, head of the Russian Federal Agency for the Commonwealth of Independent States Affairs, compatriots living abroad, and International Humanitarian Corporation. According to Primakov, all of these settlers have or had their own businesses back in the US, which they are willing to sell or which they, are or they have already sold in order to relocate to Russia. And I'm quoting, they are mostly people with traditional values, faithful but not necessarily Orthodox Christian, end quote, he said. And they adding that these Americans also do not necessarily have any Russian ancestry. Most of these Americans have large families and, as Primakov explained, they regard Russia as a place where their children can grow up and become free, sensible people with a, quote unquote, normal moral gauge, end quote, as Primakov said. And I'm quoting Primakov. I call it a contingent of adequacy, for adequate, he remarked while explaining how these American settlers perceive contemporary Russia. So, adequate. That's what it is. Last month, Primakov mentioned that construction of a village in the Moscow region where immigrants from the United States might settle is being negotiated with some 27 hectares, around 66.7 acres of land near Serpukhov, being allocated for this subject. I'm going to look and see where this is located near Moscow. 
and I'm quoting, these are foreigners who are already settling near Yaroslav. Yaroslav, end quote, he told media in June, noting that these immigrants regard Russia as an, and I'm quoting, arc of adequacy, adequacy and tranquility. I have a problem pronouncing this. Adequate, adequacy, something like that. Okay. While authorities in the United States seem eager beavers to provide so-called quote-unquote gender-affirming care, end quote, to kids and, and teenagers who regard themselves as transgender, Russian President Vladimir Putin, the bad guy, signed a law last week that effectively bans gender reassignment in Russia. Russian legislation also re uh, features provisions aimed at pro protecting the faithful from their beliefs being publicly mocked, and their curricula at Russian educational institutions is devoid of subjects such, such as critical race garbage theory. All right, so here is my friends. Let, let's look for this little uh, town of Bethlehem. I'm not going. I'm going to look for, for this one first, but probably is next to this. So. Copy. I'm gonna to go to these weasels right here. Let's uh, not the corner. We don't know the corner, and we're gonna do map. P P P. Let's see if we find it. Uh, map carta. This is good, and we have it here. Pam 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 pam. If the and Moscow is right here, so it's south of Moscow very close to Moscow, you, see, you can see the um, highway belts around it. So where you see where Moscow is, now you know where you need to go if you want to do that. I'm not promoting it, um, but I'm uh, making a note that uh, this uh, kind of things exist. So just an, an information and uh, I'm glad the Russians are giving this opportunity, but on the other hand, uh, even though, you know, sometimes you realize that the wave is too big for you to withstand. Therefore, you have to swim with the wave or you just and go somewhere else. Uh, in this case, if these guys say, you know, I'm not going to my life in that country over there. I'm not going to uh, have my children being garbaged with the ideology. Then I'm just going to go here and raise them in uh, traditional values. All right. Well, thank you very much. I think we should be uh, free of uh, doing that. And I don't. Sh I don't think anybody should be able to um, prevent us from going over there if we really want. But the problem is, what if uh, you have I don't know fifty million wanting to move over there? And why would they move? Because if they move, they leave these guys here. Why would you leave this beautiful country uh, for these guys to destroy? With the 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 battle. It's not over. It didn't even. It's at the. It's incipiency. It's just the beginning. So no, no, no. Uh, you just have to raise awareness here about what's going on. And these guys, once they say, okay, that it garbage is out. The uh, this perversion must stop. Um, they will. Uh, they are stronger in any way, mentally, physically, financially than those weasels. Um, that's why I, I like when I see, for instance, these guys with Black Lives Matter or whatever they uh, Antifa and they are dressed and covered. I like when they want to fight. You look at them and like, oh, Jesus Christ, these guys want to fight those guys over there. I mean, when, you know, violence, unfortunately, occurs, you look at them and say, if these guys decide to uh, go over you guys, they're just going to go like a steamroller over you. Like, that's it. But hey, <laughs> it's unbelievable. But anyway funny and one day these guys will say okay that's it no more and then what because those are good those guys are weak what are you going to do with the weak put them in their place uh send them into their uh, safe spaces weak places and so on be a productive member of the society and don't destroy our beautiful civilization that you were not part of it and then try to create something else that was tried before which is garbage. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.